Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal. And today I'm doing a design team card. We're going to be using three of the stamp sets from May May Made It. Or we're going to combine all three. One is the Jar of Fun stamp. Another one is called Floral Kaleidoscope. And the third one, which I've already used um, to create, is called Country Pumpkin. And we're going to be using the candy corn flowers that I made in a previous video. So let's get started. Our card base is going to be brown. And I figured it would look nice on a white background. I will put all of the measurements below for this card along with all of the supplies I use. So the first thing we're going to do is work with our white card. And I am going to be using the jar of fun. So I'm going to be using this jar and I'm also going to be using the label later on. It's a larger stamp. So I want to make sure it's inked up really good. And I'm going to go closer to the bottom because I'm going to need the top uh, so I can have the flowers put in there. Okay, and so I missed a little bit on that stamp, but that's okay. I'm going to clean that up in a minute. So all I'm going to do is take my black Copic marker, and if this ever happens to you and you feel comfortable coloring it in, it's okay. I'm just going to just make a really light line going across here. Okay, and it's not perfect, but it will still work. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this branch. This stamp has a branch on it, the floral kaleidoscope. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to make three stems for my flowers. I'm going to ink this up real good. So I just want to make sure I have all three. So it just looks like the stem is coming right out of the jar. I'm going to just turn this around and I'm going to like, I'm going to cross it. Just so that it kind of meets. You see that little cross right there? And then I am going to make one going straight up. And I want it to be just a little bit taller than the other two. Now I'm going to go ahead and add what I call my candy corn flowers. And remember, I don't know if you've seen another video that I did um, on how to make these. So if you want to know how to make these, all you have to do is look below in the description box. And I will put the link to that video on how to make these adorable candy corn flowers. And that is the one that I made using the candy corn stamp from Country Pumpkin. So these stamps are very versatile. So what I'm going to do with this stamp, because I want it to kind of stand out, I'm just going to take this stamp, because I want it to be in the middle, and I'm going to fold it so it kind of, get, kind of gives it a little bit of dimension. Let's see if you can see that. It has a little bit of a bend to it. 
and I'm just taking my fingers and just pressing it up slightly so it just curves up on the sides. And just that little bit gives it some dimension. Not too much. You can see already. Okay, so that one I want to go in the middle. Then I'm going to take my others and I want these to fit underneath it. So I'm going to just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bend up the outer ones. These could lay flat because I want it to fit under there neatly. That's going to look so cool. Okay, so I got one, two, three. I'll just do one more. Just gives it a little bit more dimension as if it's coming up off of the page. And I'm leaving these flat. And these candy corn flowers, I had promised to use them in more videos just to show you other options of how you can use these. And I'm going to leave it like that, just the three on this one. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on first. Put these on the side. And I'm using the famous Art Glitter Glue. And this is also available in May May's store. I will put all of the links down below. This is some good stuff. Okay. And I'm going to take this one. Put it on that side right here. And you see how it's kind of coming off the page? I love that. Then you're going to take this, and that one's going to be the one for the middle. And you see how that pops up real good on there? So adorable. And what I did was I did something a little bit backwards. I actually put the the flowers on. I should have actually mounted it on this first. So don't do what I just did, but we're going to see if we can make that work. Normally to mount this, I would use my crafters tape, but since I already went ahead and put my flowers on, I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. It's always a way to work around it. Okay, and that's already coming together. Make sure that's stuck down. Okay, the next thing we're going to use is this sign. So my sign is going to be white and I want it to go on here like right around where this the stems are crossing and so all I'm going to do I'm just going to stamp my sign onto here and I do want some type of sentiment for it I'm going to use hello I think that would make an excellent sentiment. I'm going to use the Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Vintage Photo. And 
I want my sentiment to be in that brown just to tie everything in. And it's barely going to fit in there, but it's okay. And there it is. And I want to add just a little bit of color to that. I like the way it has a little outline going right along the edge there. So I'm going to take some my yellow Copic and just kind of just give it a little bit of color. Just around the outline. I'm going to fussy cut this out. And I want this to go right here, right by that edge. I'm going to mount it on there, but before I do that, I'm going to take my orange carpet. Just giving a little bit of color around the outside. And you could barely see it. But it works just fine. Just do a little bit around the edge there. Okay. And I want this to be mounted so going to use these my circles here Okay, and I'm going to mount that right here. That'll make it stand out a little bit. Give it a little bit of dimension on there. Look how adorable that is. And I still feel like it needs a little bit of color. So I'm going to take my Copic and I'm just going to give it just a little bit, little burst of color. Just going along the bottom, maybe outlining this a little bit. A little bit around the top here. I love card making because there's no, no rules. You can just get creative with it. And just that little bit of color actually helps. Now, of course, my favorite thing, my gel pen. I'm going to give it a little bit of a border. And I'm just doing dots and line. Keeping it simple and clean.
Okay, and it looks like our card is all done. Look how cute that is. Lots of color. If you want to know how to make these flowers, I'll post that video below. Here's another card that I made, a little bit larger. And I actually took some string and went up the side with it to add a little bit more color to it. This, is a, this card is a little bit larger, so you can play with different sizes, but I thought this was absolutely adorable. I hope you like this design team video. I hope it gave you some inspiration for creating your cards. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. Thank you. Bye.